Hello, hello guys and welcome back to Astronaut. In today's episode, we are going into Corruption 19. Oh boy. The last one. Well, not really, but second to last, I guess. Who are we gonna pick? Well, it is 19, so you should probably pick someone that we like. But, I mean, the last time we took, like, the Paladin and, I mean, the Paladin is really good. He's really good. I don't mind him as a tank, but but I really want to. If I take in the Paladin, I'm gonna take the Wild Mage as well because those two just seems to be going really well together. The cleric also shielding up, and I don't want to go for a shield team this time. We're gonna go for something else. Who have I not chosen for a while? I think the Frost Mancer. Let's go with that Frost build and slow down the enemies quite a lot. Who'd be? Hmm. Who'd go well with that? Hmm. Um, what about... Well, you know I'm gonna pick either the Ranger, the Druid, or the Blood Mage here. That's a given. <laughs> that's a given. Uh, that, that's... You know what? I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take the Cleric and... Well, it's either gonna be the Druid or the Ranger here. We don't have a lot of damage in this team, do we? I think we're gonna take the Druid instead of the Cleric. And then take something else. Something damage. Something damage. I feel like I really want to go with the Ronin. I just don't like him. <laughs> Illusionist? I mean, we got, we got someone here who, who could go either way either mage or or speed he can do both um the druid frail defense well give him some more defense or i don't know probably just defensive items in general pretty good on him then we want someone who is well yeah we we are we are completely open here we can do whatever we like but i think I think we want someone a, a bit of a hard hitter to take down who we are up against. I still feel the Ronin is not a bad shout, but I also think about the Illusionist because putting damage stuff on him instead of instead of mage stuff, and then put some he really heavy stuff on him, so he will have like s s he got already got 70 attack. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. Why not? Let's try with the Illusionist here. I don't really like him, but I feel like he can actually do something for me here in this build. Um, but it depends on what we get. Max health is probably not the way to go. Defense could be, could be. I mean, everyone here seems to be doing. Eh, the Wild Frostmaster doesn't really care about the defense, but he, the Druid and the Illusionist definitely like defense. Attack. And the Druid doesn't really get a lot out of that. Active abilities. Native Blessing is fine. Mirror Image is definitely good. And the Frostbite is also good. I'll be going Magician because they're all gaining something from it. Are you kidding me? Is, it, is this just standard? Is this just standard now that you get this top lane to be an early elite? That's, that's the fourth time in a row, I think. Okay, game. We also got a mid section here where we need to, where we are getting two normal battles. That's not too good. Dang, we actually, if we, unless we want this merchant, we are actually getting three normal sections here. That could be really tough, man. Okay. I do not like how this was shaped up. This this act one is not shaped up well for us, but. Well, let's see if we can get through it anyway. Let's see if we can get through it anyway. Hmm. Yeah, so he's getting slowed down. Here comes the illusions. Okay. Wow, the dude is not happy here. Okay. Okay. So attack damage. Um and we're applying frost. Cleaver, reduce target's defense. Yeah, we are not. We don't really have anyone who is quick right now, so that doesn't really speak to me. 
I think we're going Fenrir's Bane and putting it on the Illusion. There we go. Yeah, one more battle. It's not, it's, that was not any good choices there. No good choices, but I mean, I, I think I took the best part from, well, I mean, the Frost is going to be helpful for the Frost Mancer and the attack damage is going to be helpful for the Illusionist. He's doing a lot of damage now. Yeah, uh, the Sigil. I mean, the shield is really strong, but Hatchet. The Hatchet might... Hmm, I don't know. Speed? Nah. I think we're going with the Hero Sigil. Um, just to get that shield. It's gonna be helpful against many of many things. So we've got an event now. Hmm. Okay. Let's go with it. I'm not gonna go for the top elite. I'm not gonna go for it. Okay. How much shielding is it? 120? Okay. See these illusions are gonna be helpful here in this situation, that's for sure. To kick this guy. Okay. Searing edge. Um, I think I'm gonna take it. I'm not sure if we're gonna go for the Pyromancer in this build, but I feel like it's oh this sh this shadow boots here on the Illusionist is also pretty decent, but eh. I'm gonna go for Searing Edge and I'm gonna build it on uh, the Frostmancer for now. I mean, I might I might take. I'm not sure who I'm gonna take as. Right now, I never know to begin with who I'm gonna take as my fourth choice. Um, that depends. That really depends on how it goes and what items we get and all that. I just don't know yet. Hmm. That's uh. Could be a tough one, this one. We'll see. Did we disarm him? Who is disarming? Or did we get disarmed? I'm confused. That sounds like a disarm. Yeah, he's disarming us. Okay. Hmm. Stabilize a hex bag. I don't know. I think I'm going stabilizer, maybe. I do like the stabilizer. It's just 100 health, extra shield, extra healing output. Um, don't like the other two items here in this situation. I mean, the hex bag can be really good, but only for four seconds, and we don't really have that speed to work into that right now. So, yeah, stabilizer it is. Event. Poisons, man. Poisons. Dangerous shit. Okay, Ascension Cloak, Champion's Guard. Or Soul Slicer. Nah, we're gonna take the Ascension Cloak. Why not? Uh, so now it's gonna be three normal battles in a row. Or Merchant and then two normal battles. We only got 86. I, I, I just don't... We, 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 we could lose we could lose this act one in the next couple of battles here could definitely lose here I'm not sure how strong we are here seems pretty strong okay oh, not too bad world one axe uh, sure I guess a defense gauntlet Eh. Impaler? Now nah, I think I'm gonna take the Wolven Act on, um, on the Frost Mentor. <sighs> Normal battles, I mean, I mean, as long as we win them, I'm okay with it. Oh god, oh god. 
Oh, shit. Uh, I doubt we're gonna win this one, but let's see. We're applying thrust to them straight off the bat here with a Fenrir Spain, so that's good, but not gonna be enough. Come on, guys, come on. Okay, one more I'll hit. Better than I thought it would be. High Elf Claymore. Uh, sure. Maybe safe this time. I mean, Ascension Cloak on the Illusionist is definitely not bad. Let's take a safety slime on the Druid. Cosmos Mandel? Nah. Uh, I think I'm going safety slime and putting. It's just a Claymore. Uh, I don't feel like the Claymore is worth it. That that 20% chance of not sitting well with me. But then again, it's gonna be 100% attack damage. That is 90 with the Claymore. And yeah. <laughs> You know what? We're gonna take that. We're, we're gonna take the claymore. I don't. I don't. I don't feel like uh, any of those um, things were, were, were really good. But oh shit! <laughs> you can't go okay, let's see. The druid is probably dead again here, but whatever. I don't think we're gonna survive this one. Oh, maybe, maybe. Not impossible. Not impossible. Okay. Nice! Lovely done! Another wolf axe. Hmm. Oaken nut or mage seeker. I'm gonna take the wolf axe. Elite battle. That is who? Oh, the bear, of course. Yeah, that's the bear. Uh, I don't know how this is gonna go. Should be okay, but I'm not sure because we're freezing him, so it shouldn't be too bad. But his his guardian roar is a little bit tricky to deal with. Could lose one here. Ooh, it's gonna be okay. Good. Very good indeed. Another world one axe. Are you kidding me? I, th I think I'm gonna take this brand, putting it on the illusion, but that's not really any good choices here. Health or better illusions or frost damage plus stuns. I think I'm gonna go for the illusions. Oh well, hey, the frostmaster is doing fine with this build so far. Hmm. Duplicate Searing Edge instead of the Hero Sigil. Oh, that's bad. Duplicate Fenrir's Bane instead of Enchanter's Brand. And uh, you know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. <laughs> Double Frost from the get-go and doing a bit of damage as well. Yeah, you know what? That's that's not too bad. Elite Battle. Here we come. It's the Spider. We're gonna split them up here because Druid is the one healing and the one tanking, so we might as well just stand on his own here. And when he's low, it's gonna go to one of the illusions probably. Mm, we're a bit slow here. We should be alright. Because of the Ascension Cloak, basically. And all the illusions, of course. Okay! Mana Spring, hmm. You know what? I think we're gonna take that instead of um, instead of the Claymore here, so we can get more illusions out. Seems like a pretty good idea with it upgraded as well. So let's do that. Uh, we should probably take this merchant. We can probably only upgrade once, but we could also get something that we really like, maybe, and still upgrade. So let's go in here. I'm probably gonna go for the frail defense. Yes. 
Oh god. See? That's the choice we're gonna make here. Uh, are we gonna take the Pyromancer again? Because it's a really strong build. We already got one of his searing edges. <sighs> I think we do. Uh, I think we do. I think I am gonna take the Ragnarok. I'm not gonna use it straight off the bat here. I'm just gonna have it and then we can put it on when we get... When we get uh, to... <laughs> Yeah, I feel like choosing this really early on is a pretty strong choice, and then take the um, take the Pyromancer as well as the fourth unit, and as the fifth unit. That depends on what we get. We could go Bandit Hood. We could take the Assassin. Um, I'm a little bit w worried about healing then, but it all depends on what's gonna happen. I would probably rather have a healer as the fifth option and have a bandit hood on either the frost mantor or uh, the pyra but i'm gonna go this way i'm gonna do it <laughs> are we gonna upgrade straight away no probably not uh, we need we need some more speed before we want to upgrade it um i, f I feel like we should probably upgrade the druid but what would be the best upgrade here? Maybe the Ascension Cloak. Letting two enemies go along into some of the... Um, letting them get into uh, his illusions is a very strong kind of way to build into it. Uh, getting into Act 2 and stuff. I, I feel like that's a really, really good way to not die survive for a lot longer amulet is also really good getting more illusions out not a bad way to go either also giving us a little bit more health and survivability uh, i don't feel like i really do need to upgrade the searing edge yet i am probably going to do it at some point since we are, have decided to go for the pyromancer now i didn't really think i would go that way in this run but well what the run is giving me is what i'm gonna choose i guess I'm gonna upgrade the Ascension Cloak here. It's gonna be very helpful for the Druid to survive, basically. Okay. And that's it. I mean, I could sell this, but we do need a couple of items for someone. Well, the Power Mantor and the Frost Mantor, because I, th I, th I feel like I am definitely gonna give the Power Mantor, the Ragnarok, the, the Searing Edge, and probably a Wolven Axe. And that, that leaves the Frost Mantor with. The Claymore, uh, Whirlwind Axe, and maybe something else. I don't know what we are going to get here. Let's take... yeah, double events. Double events. We got plenty of morale already, so it's okay. I'm going to take it. I'm, I'm, I am for sure going to take it. I just need to, you know, sit here and think about my bad life choices here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh dang okay okay uh sure i guess i mean the stabilizer is good but since we have the ascension cloak it's not actually not that that great right now but okay take another event I'm very worried about the ruin, but we'll see. I mean, why not? Yeah, sure. Give me a little bit of morale back. I don't mind that when I just spend some on an item that I didn't really want, but whatever. Um, well, since, you al since we already have ruin, I'm not too worried about that. <laughs> uh, deal 10%. Yeah, that's that's... He's a pretty tough uh, champion to kill. Well, he, he's he's pretty tough for us because he got piercing and he got bleeds. Which is not really working well for us here, but... Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. We might actually lose this one. I think I'm gonna put Frost on him. Uh, yeah, because that, that will mean that he got 9 Frost to begin with because of the Fenrir's Bane. That is very close to us actually stunning him right off the bat here and doing some damage.
I think we. I think I'm going going for both things actually. It's gonna slow him way down, giving us a chance. Here comes the bleed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the illusions. The illusions I have. <laughs> That's good. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, give me that. I mean, the Frostmancer can get that to begin with. That's not a bad little item to have. Okay. Sure. Uh, yeah, I, th I, think it's I think this is... I mean, I could wait with the... I could wait... And take someone else right now. I think I'm gonna get flashed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Um, we could wait with the Frostmancer and uh, or the Pyromancer and take someone else. We could do that. We could also just take him now. So the thing is, who, who would I take as a fifth champion? I don't know. Um, it depends on what we get. If we get the Bandit Hood, I might take that Bandit Hood. Just to, you know, use it on another lane. Even on the Illusionist, to be honest. Um, that might be a thing. Instead of one of the Fenrir's Banes. So maybe maybe a healer. Or maybe a tank. It, it depends. Maybe the Blood Mage, actually. Because I just love the Blood Mage. <laughs> um... Hmm. Yeah, I feel like the cleric might be a good choice, but uh, I don't. Do I want him now or do I want him later? I feel like we do have enough damage to actually take him now. Um. But we don't have the items for him right now. That's the thing. We could give him the mana spring. <sighs> nah, let's take the pyro. Here we go. I could have gone with both of them. I mean, it's it's. If I don't get the bandit hood, then I would be in problems uh, taking the cleric. So you know, it's. What do we get here? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the queen of the pen. Tackles. I just feel like it's a very good option. It's, it's giving me so many options down the road here. Hmm. So another early elite battle here. And that is... Who is that? The Gravedigger. Right. Okay. Okay, Mother Rat and the Bleed Guy. So we got plenty of normal battles to begin with. That is okay for me. I don't mind that. I'm probably gonna go down to events as soon as I can. I feel like maybe uh, the magical abilities here might be the way to go. The mid lane here. But I'm not completely sure. Okay, so how are we gonna change this up? Well, you definitely want that and probably want that too. And then the Ragnarok. You can have that, and I guess a high elf claymore. Nah, I'm actually gonna give the high elf claymore to the illusionist because he got a higher base attack damage. But I think I do want this mana spring amulet on the illusionist so we can get a lot of clones out real quickly instead of anyone else having it. That's not bad. Having better illusions, I mean, that is pretty good to me. Um, could go with the healing as well, but the burns are also pretty good. Anything here could be good. I think I'm actually going with the burns, maybe. Yeah, sure. Alright, here we go. Mid lane. Act 2. Oh. Need to jump down here. I don't want the... See, we don't really have... I mean, he should probably... Whoops. He, he should probably be up here. If, if I want to get hit on anyone, it's probably going to be the Illusionist. It's the best choice to get hit. He, he at least have a chance to actually get a Fracture. 
12% chance. I mean, that, that passive ability is just so bad. Okay, here we go. Ooh, this doesn't look good. Okay, now they're hitting the illusions. See, that is why the illusions are so strong here. Because when he is down to, uh, when his ascension cloak is going off, they're gonna switch targets to all his illusions. That's strong. That is strong. Bound element is pretty good here. It's applying both frost and burn. Definitely want that. Uh, probably instead of one of the world one axes, to be honest. I don't really. Uh, yeah, maybe I want, maybe I want that instead. I mean, the frost is not that. Uh, getting, getting the, getting the frost mantle to become a little bit more speedy is probably better than. The way around instead of the Fenrir's. Maybe the maybe the frost is just that powerful. I don't know. Hmm. Probably very close to each other in power. Okay, we got the two wretches. Uh, well, same deal, I guess. Let's see. Get out the illusions. Get out the illusions. There we go. Should be fine here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Taking Book of the First just to sell it. Don't feel like I'm gonna use it. Another battle here that could go wrong, could go good. Who knows? As long as he's getting his illusions out, it should be fine. There we go. Back to the Druid. But at this point, he is so slow that he can't really do anything. Right. Going, uh, going pretty strong here. Mm. So another situation here where I don't really want anything, but I think the Primal Thirster might be a decent option for the Illusionist instead of the High Elf Claymore. Or is it? I don't know. I think it is, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I think I don't like that 20% chance. It got the same at the base attack, so you know, this just feels better. Yeah, let's do some events. We got plenty of morale now. Sure. Take that high up. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Give me that 90 gold for the high up claymore. <laughs> I, was, I was easy. Yeah. I, just, I was just sitting there. Is this any good? Of course it is. I was like, why, why would I even think about that? I don't know. Ooh, another pound element. I uh, don't mind if I do. There we go. Definitely feel like the bound elements are way better than the world one axis here. Okay, so the Undertaker or whatever he is. Is, he, is it the Undertaker or Grave Digger? Grave Digger. Well, he, he do reminds me of the Undertaker a little bit. If you remember who that is. Old Wrestlemania guy. Wrestle, Just Wrestle guy, I guess. He's both Wrestlemania and... I don't remember the names of all that Wrestle things. I only watched it as a child. And there we go. And played the games. Oh, I love the the old... I don't even remember what it was called, but it was a really great game on PlayStation. Some of the old wrestler games. Uh, we... Mm, yeah, see. Who's gonna be Pyromancer? Oh, no. That's... Yeah. Uh, we need some health items on them. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm real sorry, actually have that on instead. Sorry. Oh, you're not even you're not even close, are you? No, you're still gonna get hit. God dang it. Lucianist also in trouble. We need to we need to give them I don't uh, the, the, the druid should be fine no matter what. So we are just giving Yeah we are completely changing our build <laughs> we need to we basically need to That should do it. That should do it. 
700. So actually, he still don't have it. The Power Master still don't have enough, but he will have enough with the shield. But he can only be hit once, and then he's dead. Oh shit, the Ascension Cloak! Oh, we might. Yeah, I think we're dead. I overdid it. I overcooked it. Why did he go for him and not the Illusionist? Oh, I don't know. Maybe the Illusions will actually take care of that. Why is he not killing the... Okay, because he got the Ascension Cloak. That was stupid. I could have won this, I think. Dang it! That was really... That was really bad, actually. That was, that was stupid. Completely overcooked it. Oh man, that's so annoying. Wait, is that it? Yeah, I guess it is. Did we not have an... Did, did I have two of these Fenrir Bane on? I guess I had. Okay, whatever. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, oh, I'm so annoyed right now. Dang it. Oh, well, here we go. So, I should still get... I think it's the sixth time I'm recording it now, in my head at least. And I have gotten a 25% chance four times. No. Yeah, I have. No, three times. And the other one, three times. No, I don't remember, but we should still go for that. Nice. Next time, I'm not going to go for that. <laughs> uh, so the thing is, if we want the Mother Rat, which we definitely do, we need to take a normal battle. That's not the worst normal battle in the world here. Definitely not the worst. Um, but I do wish I could kill her first. I can't decide. Guess we're going for Olaf first. Okay. Not optimal, but... Okay, good. We got illusions out. Nah, we're good. We're good. Just that one battle against that elite man. God dang Undertaker. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's not really... I don't know. Um, none of this was really speaking to me like... Take it. I guess it's alright, but... Okay. This could go... I think it's gonna go okay with his illusions, um, but... Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a tough fight, but at least we got a lot of frost to help with uh, avoiding too much here. Too much damage, but... Ooh, yeah, he's, he's, he's really fast down. We're not killing the rest too fast, so... Yeah, but the burns are gonna help. And a lot of illusions now. Got it. Okay. Searing Edge. Now that's... I mean, it is upgraded, but... That item, man. That item. He already got his build then. There we go. Wow. Wow. I think the Frostmaster maybe wants something else instead of this, but still, it's... This is pretty strong. This is pretty strong for all of them, except from the Illusionist. I mean, it's also strong for the Illusionist. Getting that many... I mean, that Mana Spring Amulet is not bad on him, and I am probably gonna um, switch more towards building him as a mage. But I don't think he needs more than that. That Mana Spring Amulet is all he needs, then he's getting plenty of... Uh, what, what are they called? Mirror Images out. 
yeah, it's, it seems pretty good right now. So we're going into a merchant. We can't really avoid it right now. So that's fine. We also got a lot of items we can sell. Um, so the fifth... Now we need to think about the fifth option here. We actually get a death, uh, Deathbringer here. That could be interesting for the Frostmantor. Or for the Assassin or whoever. Right now I'm thinking Assassin because we, too, we got two Whirlwind Axes. And a lot of speed items. And we do not have anyone else that can be up here. So I am definitely thinking about the Assassin here. I think that's my best choice. Um, the thing I'm worried about is, is is having enough healing and you know stuff like that. But with his illusions, you no, know, and the ascension cloak maybe upgraded twice. But we can't really take a healer unless we get the bandit hood. And we we are not getting it right now unless I get the bandit hood for Act Three. I'm not gonna take a healer. Okay, but we are just upgrading some of our stuff here. I, I think I'm just going Searing Edge and Ragnarok. Uh, I feel like that's the way to go. Hmm, hold on. I think the healing might be good. Fuck, man. Fuck. I don't know. Because his illusions are so strong as well. And his burns. And, oh. No, I need healing. So how much money do we have? 73. That's fine. Let's... Ah, eggs. I want to keep them around. Fool's crown. Don't need the book. Don't need the hex, I don't think. That's the, that's the item I would definitely want to get rid of compared to the other four. Then we can upgrade one more. That's a pretty good upgrade. That's 150 extra shields for everyone. That's a lot of healing, a lot of health or healing, whatever. Mana Spring, that's also, that's also strong, but I don't think I need to do it. Searing Edge would be optimal, but I think, I think I'm good with this just. This is going to be plenty of damage for now. I think we need to survive a little bit extra here. So let's go with the shields. Okay. Okay. I'm okay, I'm okay. Um, I think we're gonna take the assassin, but I'm not sure yet. Depends, still depends on what we are getting down here in the last events and elites and bosses and stuff like that. I'm not completely sure. If we get the bandit hood, I'm probably gonna take it. Put it on the frostmancer instead of probably scourges of the weight. This, to be honest, and uh, just give me the holy water. I'm okay with that. Oh god! Oh oh boy! Well, that's. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be interesting. How fast is the druid gonna die compared to how fast the illusionist can get his uh, images out? It's all about that. Hmm. Nah, I don't think we can do this. That's a big hit. Woo! I'll take that. I'll take that. One morale hit. I'll take that any day. Uh, against these guys? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I'm just taking it to get rid of it, probably. I'm not sure. Maybe nah. I should not. I should just have taken the money, actually. But whatever. Okay. So the bleeder, the bleeding guy. Well, he's not bleeding, but he's making us bleed. <sighs> should be all right, but I'm not completely sure. I'm actually gonna go up here with the guys, because then he will hit the illusions instead of any of us. When he's down to 25, 35%, yeah. I think the bones is gonna take care of him. And the illusions, maybe. There we go. Burn away. Well, the illusions is actually dying quite, quite quickly here. Another Ascension Cloak. Interesting. Again. Nah. Take the money. Move on. What of life. Nice. And healing. Illusions. Burn. Take the burn. Need it for the boss. 
Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's... Oh, they're gonna hit the back line here. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I don't see us surviving this. I have, we just don't have... I mean, I can put the illusion... If, that's even making... The, uh, just die. Just lose, lose that battle. I mean, it's, it's gonna be over. No way. Well, okay. Only one morale hit. Wow. Did not expect that. I'm stronger than I think I am, I guess. <laughs> Another world one X. Company. Is that really... Is that something you can do on the assassin? I guess it is. Okay. Why not? Let's try it. Oh, you... I hate this event. I, I, there are just, I think this is going to be the fourth time I'm going to lose to this event. I hate this event. So much. No, I don't think I want to silence them. I, I, I don't. I don't think the holy water is gonna save us anyway. Crap! Come on, guys. It's gonna be a close one. The illusions is gonna save me here. Fuck, man, I hate this boss fight. Jesus, it's so hard. It's just, it's just so hard. Uh... That might be good for the illusionist, actually. And then again, it's not really scaling with his illusions. It's only for him. Uh, nah, I'm gonna take the money. Money, money. Well, guys, that's it for this episode. I'm not sure who we're gonna take, but I, I, I think we're gonna take the illusion because we didn't get the bandit hood. So we don't really have anyone who can be up here on his own. And I just feel like the assassin is the obvious choice here. I don't feel like going feed. So. Or the outlaw for that matter. I mean, I could, but. Yeah. I feel like uh, the assassin with the uh, free world win access <laughs> is gonna be the thing to go for. So, uh, guys, I'll see you in the next episode.